Well, hello again from Kingston, where you might gather the weather has taken a turn for the better. A little windy today. We'll show you everything that's been going on this week. And at the end, don't fail to catch what we expect to happen very shortly and the wildlife. Thanks for watching. I thought we'd begin this week by seeing just how far we've come in the last year. In many respects, truly remarkable. Later, We'll look at what actually lies ahead, but in the meantime, enjoy a few moments with the fishermen on the river. With the sides of the green wall largely in place on the east side, attention turned to packing it with the topsoil or growing medium this week. It's a painstaking business with little room to work, but the excavator is always very helpful. By week's end, with the south side complete, attention was turned to the north side. Throughout the week, rain or shine, a steady stream of gravel deliveries kept the excavator busy, redistributing and completing infill. Black and MacDonald began work beside the Gore Road Public Library in June last year. This week, marked a high point in their engagement on the east side, with the commissioning of the traffic signals on Gore Road and Highway 15. Signals that will control bicycle movements have been temporarily cloaked, but the cable hung temporary traffic signals have all been removed. Sensors and cameras on the temporary light poles have also been removed. The restraining cables that support the temporary poles have also been taken away, but for the time being, the poles remain in place. Throughout the entire process, specialists from Utilities Kingston were managing and monitoring the signal controls. While all of this was taking place, other team members from Black and MacDonald were trenching and laying conduit and vaults on the north side of Gore Road. Work on this task pressed ahead through a very wet Wednesday. Drier conditions on Thursday saw the loading of the light poles that will serve the junction below the library. But the rain had returned later in the day when the first of these was actually installed. On the bridge proper, Span 22 was a very busy area this week. The supporting angle brackets that are on either side of the bridge were installed at a pretty steady rate.
progress with the installation of walkways on the south side was really good too. And it left us in a situation going into Good Friday holiday that looked a little like this. One of the critical tasks on the west side this week was the installation of reinforcing rod in what we've now come to realise is a moment wall. See the description below for information. One thing is certain, and that is that its strength will be derived from the extraordinary work of the iron workers from Armatour Bois Franc. When we last visited the fishermen, I promised you a look at what lies ahead. Below Montreal Street on the West End, it's very likely that bar construction will soon begin work, after a representative visited this week. It's very likely that the same can be said of the East End, where friendly and familiar faces from Tomlinson Group appeared this week to visit and to make preparations. As we go to wildlife this week, remember, the bridge watchers have a favourite saying, time will tell. Well, that's another week closer to completion. And I want you all to know how much I appreciate you following these updates, but I'd really like you to subscribe. See you next week. Bye for now.